hi everyone welcome to trino code so in today's video we are going to talk about the api so what are apis and how you know we can use them so basically you know api is act as a bridge if you want to connect two independent programs together so like you know you have your bubble and then you have this tinyfy so both of them you know are a separate program but if you want to link in between them so we need some kind of bridge so uh, you know in most of the cases api act as that bridge in between these two independent programs so uh, so yeah so that is api and the next question is how we can use api in bubble so uh, to use it you know on bubble you have to go to your uh, editor then on the left sidebar section you will be able to see plugins go to plugins click on add plugins so bubble by default provided its uh, you know uh, plugin to connect apis and that is api connector you have to search it and just install it okay so the uh, next thing is you know if you then on the install plugin you will be able to see the api connector click on it click on add another api so firstly you know if we see uh, what are the options we are getting here so you can enter the api name so the authentication level it depends upon the api you are connecting what is what kind of authentication they are giving you um, in most of the cases they are non self handed you, are, you have to just put uh, something on the headers or parameters and that will do the job but in some of the cases they require authentications and so we do have lots of option here so in today's video we are going to explore this HTTP basic auth part in which we have to just provide the login id and password uh, to connect the apis and this is a add a shared header if you use this one you don't need to you know if if all the apis under this particular apis are basically two of one main api then you don't need to pass headers on each api just add the header on the master api and it will work for all all of the uh, you know sub uh, sub api so then here uh, this is our call and in this call we are having this name uh, user so here we have uh, two use cases like data and action if you use it data uh, data it will use to you know get the data from the server but if you use it as an action then you can use this particular api in the action part so we are going to use this one in today's video and then we have we have to paste the url here and this is the method so basically what method you are going to do with this particular api so we do have these uh, kind of methods used on the apis like get post code patch delete so all of them so yeah so let's start you know connecting the api so if you go to your uh, tinyfy so i'm using this uh, platform to connect to my bubble today so yeah here if you click on developer api you will see this section uh, to get your api keys what you need to do you just need to enter your name your email address and get your ap api key it will send an e a message on your email and on which you will have a, your dashboard link just click on the dashboard link and you will get your api so now we need to head to the documentation part explore the api's reference and here you know you have these option example uh, upload from file example upload from url so we are going to use this one upload from url and here we are having this curl call so mostly you know if you have this curl call so you don't need to uh, add everything on bubble uh, one by one so what it will do just copy paste it go to your bubble app and below you know you find an option import another curl code so you just click on it you paste it and it will uh, automatically import all the fits like url methods headers data so just import it and here we have imported this particular part okay so this is our curl call and this is our uh, api so you can name it anything i'm naming it as compression since we are compressing the image size here then we are having 
this part okay so uh, here you know we need to use it as an action I select action the method is a post this is our URL and on the headers it automatically detect the content type is application or uh, JSON so uh, this is the body of our JSON format and here is the code so uh, you know for our purpose we need this particular thing to be a dynamic in nature so to make it dyna uh, dynamic in nature we need to use these uh, particular uh, icons here so what we will do we will copy uh, this link to initialize the call then Okay. then we pass this so the moment you pass this uh, you know uh, this uh, gives you some value here so you can paste it here and just remove the private now so uh, what will happen you know uh, by passing this uh, whenever a call initializes you don't have to come here and change the URL uh, whenever you, you are trying to get that API you will get a field there so you can pass the value and that can be a dynamic in nature so that's uh, that way you don't need to you know uh, reinitialize call again and again okay so the only part remain is now the authentication so we are going to use http basic auth for this particular part so the username will be api for this particular part and the api key and this will be the API key okay. so now we are going to initialize the call okay. so you know if your call uh, got successfully initialized you will get this uh, kind of message where you will be able to see uh, these uh, data so like uh, we provided something and it gives us the output here so the input type, the input size and this is the output okay so hit save so now we, our call is initialized now let's move to the editor so here what we are going to do you know we are going to pass some url here we are going to hit submit the moment we hit submit we will uh, save the original image as well and by using this api we are going to compress this original image and we will get some uh, compressed image so the work let's work on the workflow now uh, the moment you hit submit we need to first uh, create a new thing so we, we are going to store it on our database create a new thing uh, tiny file and here we will save the original image from input uh, image value so we have saved you know whatever you paste the image link here we will save it on the original image now uh, now if you know uh, if you go on to your plugins here you see that we have passed this as an action so what will happen you know on workflows here as as the action if you go to a uh, plugin here you will be uh, find this compression part so if you didn't pro, uh, uh, put it as an action it will not come here so that that is the way you know you have to if you if you want that api to use in all actions you have to put it as an action here use as action okay. now moving back to workflow uh, you have to click on plugin then compression and here it will uh, ask us to provide some url here so let's quickly go to google and find some higher resolution images this one okay so uh, what we will do here we will uh, 
will part input uh, we will uh, post some input base order value so whatever you know the value provided here we will uh, we will pass here so that we can get the data and now what we are going to do we are going to make changes to a thing and that will be our this first one where we have created and here on the compressed image link we we will fetch it from the result to you know we, uh, from this part and output URL so now so we have this image link uh, we paste it here we hit ok one more thing we need to reset the relevant inputs Hold on. Uh, so we have pasted link here we hit submit the moment you hit submit uh, you get the original image and you get the compressed image as well so now we we'll look into it so this is our original image uh, we're going to save it uh, to see the difference and here as well I'm going to save it okay so both the images got saved so now uh, okay so this is the original image Okay, so this is the original uh, image which was 76 KB and this is our compressed image which is 40.9 uh, KB so you know uh, this way uh, you can use your a various APIs uh, to get you know connected to the bubble and to get the output so yeah that is all for today okay guys thank you so much